we're going to be looking at questions that involve rates of change. So let's take a look at the first one that we have. Now we have Amy and Ben. Amy typed uh, 240 words in three minutes and made 12 errors. Ben typed 250 words in five minutes and made 10 errors, okay? Find Amy's typing rate, okay? So typing rate, okay, what that means is, well, how many words did she type in some sort of time? So words over minutes is going to be the rate that we have. Okay, let's look at Amy. There was 240 words in three minutes. Okay, then what we're gonna write is 240 over the three minutes. Okay, if we calculate this, then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be able to find that her rate is 80 words per minute. Okay, this is the rate for the first one. Let's take a look at Amy's error rate. Okay, well, how much error did she make? We're gonna be looking at the rate of how many errors she made per the number of words. Okay, so we can see that out of 240 words, she made 12 errors. Okay, to find that rate, we're gonna do 12 divided by 240. Calculate it, we get a rate of 0 0.05 errors per word. Okay, let's leave that up there. Okay, let's move on to Ben. So find Ben's typing rate. Okay, again, rate, we're gonna be looking at how many words per minute she uh, he was able to do. Words, okay, 250 words in five minutes. Let's put those in. 250 words in five minutes. We can see his rate was 50 words per minute. Okay, so, he had uh, 50 words per minute as his typing rate. Now finally, what about his error rate? Okay, error, how many error did he do per word? Well, he did 10 errors in 250 words. So let's put those in. 10 errors out of the 250 words, let's calculate it. And he made a rate, an error rate of 0.04 errors for every word that he typed. Okay. So let's leave those information up here. Now, rates are really important and really useful when we're trying to compare their performance, okay? So if we just look at this information up here, we can't really say either one did better, okay? Just looking at the question, right? Because 240 words in three minutes, 250 words in five minutes, who did better? We can use that, I mean, sorry, we can use the rates, okay, to be able to compare their performance. So let's look at their typing rate, who did better? Okay, well, Amy's rate was 80 words per minute, while Ben's rate was 50 words per minute. Okay, well then, obviously, because Amy had a higher rate, then Amy typed at a faster rate. She had a better performance. Okay, what about uh, the errors? Okay, so we can see that, although Amy typed faster, she made 0 0.05 errors for every word, while Ben, he, wrote, he only made 0 0.04 errors for every word. Okay, so again, looking at their performance, although Amy typed at a faster rate, Ben typed with a greater accuracy. Okay, so using rates, we're able to draw these sort of conclusions, okay? Now let's take a look at this. So Kate worked 10 hours for $240, while Eva worked eight hours for $200. Okay, so again, we're gonna be looking at this, and we're gonna look at their rates, and try and see who, did, who has a better job. Okay, now when it comes to part-time work and casual work, we use a lot of hourly rates. So finding Kate's hourly rate, which means how much did she earn per hour? Okay, well she worked 240, uh, so she worked 10 hours and she got $240. Okay, so 10 hours for $240, then if we go pay over the amount of hours she worked and calculate it, we can see her hourly rate was $24 per hour. Now what about Eva's rate? So Eva's hourly rate, again, we're gonna do the amount of pay over how many hours she did, okay, which we know that she has uh, received $200 for eight hours of work. So let's take a look at her hourly rate. $200 over eight hours gives me $25 per hour. Okay, so these are our two hourly rates for these two people who worked for the bet for the better hourly rate of pay. So if you if you were them, okay, which one would you prefer? Okay, well obviously, uh, Eva had a uh, more higher rate of pay. Okay, twenty five over twenty four dollars. So Eva worked for the better hourly rate here. 